I want to be able to change the default form that comes with this custom list over here. So I'm going to use Power Apps. I'm going to start with Power Apps Customize Forms on this list. It goes directly into Power Apps, loads up the form the way it exists right now. This is how it would show without customization. I can make a quick change over here. For example, I'll go and change the theme to something else. Once the theme has been changed and I'm satisfied with it, I'll go back to File, click on Save. It saves it in that specific modern team site right now. Click on Publish and after clicking on Publish is where it's going to go and publish it to that list. So now that becomes the default form on that list. And let me show that to you to prove it out. I'll click on one of the items, click on Edit, and in the same interface, the form loads up. Here's my form with a new theme. Wonderful. I'll go ahead and change some data. Make sure everything's working and here it is. That's my change right there. When I click on new, the same thing happens that the same form with a new theme comes up. Now of course this is a new form. I'll go ahead and make my new item, save it, and there it is. So very simple. I can also click on customize directly from the form in here and it will take me to the form. I can click on override and now I can make changes here and then publish it back. Now another way to get to the customizations is going to list settings and then form settings and here are my options to make sure I can define if I want to use the default form, info path form or the new power apps form. Anyone that I want to use it's all available to me.